This video describes a new ramp which was developed for the AccuWedge system. In this video, I'll be describing a new ramp that I developed for the AccuWedge system. I recently added a 3D printer to my shop, and I've been using this printer to develop a number of accessories for the AccuSlice system and the various tools in my shop. I've been using this moment ramp, which is really developed for the AccuWedge system for years, and it's an aluminum plate with a magnet on the bottom to hold it to the bandsaw table. But I have a number of issues with this ramp. Uh, first of all, it's quite flexible. And if I get it too close to the bandsaw blade, you know, it can hit the blade and then start rattling. So that's created one issue. The other issue I've had, I had small wedges, when I cut small wedges, get jammed in the front of the blade between the ramp and the uh, uh, table on the AccuWedge system. So that's been another issue which I've uh, come up with. The other issue that's come up is sometimes boards stack up here and they stack up against this magnet and then they start flowing off to the side. So I wanted to eliminate that magnet. So using all these factors together, I decided to develop a new ramp which would be more stable, be more accurate, and just get better results. I designed this ramp for the AccuWedge system using the Fusion 360 software. I went through a number of different designs and renovations to continually improve the design. The first design was a simple ramp, pretty much the same you know, taper as the original ramp. And I just felt it was a little bit too short. And it also, I didn't have any ribs or anything to keep boards from falling off the edge. It did incorporate this front lip, which goes underneath the index table, which I'll show a little bit later. So that was my first prototype. And the second prototype, I added these uh, edges to keep the boards from falling off to the side. And I'm using a magnet to hold it to the table. This magnet was glued in place with the epoxy. Next, I went to a, a longer ramp, which I felt worked much better. And we had to get more boards on here before we have to move them off to get them out of the way. Uh, it uses two magnets, which again were glued into the base. And I thought that was not the best idea to glue them in the base. I wanted to do something a little bit different. So with this final version, which is actually probably about the uh, uh, seventh or eighth version that I made of this system, I went to a single magnet, which is screwed into the base. So it can easily be removed. If you need to adjust it up or down, you can put some washing right there to adjust it. So a little more versatile and, and be able to adjust that uh, magnet. I have put the name on the side. So I again, Fusion 360 software has these ramps on the side and these slips that go underneath the uh, AccuWedge table. So let me show you how this gets installed. It has this uh, cutout here for the bandsaw blade. So I get my bandsaw blade really close to the AccuWedge table and eliminate the possibility of boards getting jammed in the crap between, between the ramp and the uh, AccuWedge table. I used the Fusion 360 software to design a new ramp for the AccuWedge system. On the top surface of the angle plate are two tapered edges, which act to direct the slice wedges down the ramp and not off the sides of the ramp. The features include an indentation on the bottom of the ramp for the addition of a magnet which will be attached with a screw. On the front side of the ramp are two tabs which are designed to slide under the lip on the AccuWedge table and a recess for the bandsaw blade. This will enable the ramp to be as close as possible to the AccuWedge table by eliminating most of the gap between the ramp and the AccuWedge table. I'm using my new Bamboo 3D printer to print the AccuWedge ramp. I'm using PLA basic filament material to print the ramp. The total printing time for this project is 4.5 hours. So let me show you how this gets installed. So this ramp contains a number of features. Uh, First of all, it has this lip, which actually slides underneath the AccuWedge table. So this ramp goes, or this uh, lip goes underneath the table like such, and it eliminates any gap between the uh, index table and your ramp. And it has an indentation here for the bandsaw blade, so the bandsaw blade can ride in that slot, and you get nice alignment between uh, everything between your AccuWedge table, your ramp, and your bandsaw blade has a nice clearance. You get a nice 
clean slot for that bandsaw blade. The other thing has a magnet on the bottom which is screwed in place. That can be removed, adjust if you need to adjust it. And this magnet holds in place on your uh, bandsaw table. The magnet down here is gone so the cars can slide off nice and cleanly. It has these two ramped edges so the uh, boards won't fall off the sides. They'll go straight down. And uh, this support here, the center support, is for a screw that holds the magnet in place. Let me show you how we install this. I just install this by positioning as such, placing that, under, that uh, lip underneath the uh, AccuWedge system, and then clamping it in place. And then I can move it slightly to align it if it's you know, slightly skewed one way or the other. So I now have a gap of approximately 1 32nd of an inch between the ramp and the back edge of the AccuWedge table. Also, the ramp is about 1 32nd of an inch below the top surface of the AccuWedge table to prevent the boards from hitting the ramp. And that bandsaw blade rests nicely in that, uh, that gap between the uh, ramp and the uh, index table. So these pieces, you know, prevent pieces from getting jammed out in there. The other feature that can be used is uh, this, once this is set up, and this is again, it's parallel to your uh, table. This edge is, again, it's perpendicular to the table, so I can use this as a guide so my axe stops. So I can just push it against it. I don't have to worry about it getting skewed one way or the other. It's going to be perfectly really perpendicular to the Mackey Wedge system. Magnet's gone, so the power's going to slide off here nicely. And uh, just a much better ramp for the Mackey Wedge system. Now let's use a system of custom wedges to show how it actually works. Okay, my Accio wedge ramp is aligned. I have a gap here between my table and the wedge here about, oh, about a 32nd of an inch between the, the ramp itself and the index table, so it's really close. Uh, I could actually have a touch, but then I have to, the blade might be touching the ramp, so it's as close as I can get it, which is a real, really narrow uh, gap there. Okay, so I'm ready to cut some board now. I have a piece of a lace wood here. And let me cut some, some wedges. I have my uh, Mackie stop against the ramp. And uh, I adjusted and I get some, some pretty small wedges. Let me turn on my laser. And actually see what I'm cutting. All set to cut here. I am cutting uh, 18 segments per wedge, uh, which is my standard size. So let's uh, start cutting. Well, let me lower my guy a little bit. I want you to still be able to see what I'm doing, but I like to get it as low as I can. I completed the cutting of 18 wedges. Didn't have to move anything during the cutting process. Uh, one did fall off, and this one's about ready to fall off. But other than that, it worked quite well. Uh, again, the gap between the ramp and the table is about a 32nd of an inch. 
so there's less chance of boards, you know, getting jammed down in there, which can sometimes happen with the ramp system. This is nice and stable, so it doesn't vibrate or, or move like the previous uh, metal ramp. The magnet's gone, so these boards can actually slide right off the end of the table. If you were getting very pinched, just slide them down and they'll, they'll come off. So that worked out quite nicely. So this uh, ramp now is available. It's on our website. Uh, if you do have a, a 3D printer, uh, I'll provide you with the, uh, the step file, no charge. It just, uh, I'll try and get it on the website. If not, uh, send me an email and I'll, I'll send it to you. But uh, if you don't have a, a 3D printer, uh, it is available on our website. Next, let's cut some uh, larger wedges. This is a piece of uh, paduck, a little bit a wider and thicker board. And got my Accu wedge, Accu stop all set up. And again, keeping that same gap between the uh, ramp and the table about a 30 second of an inch. Let's go ahead and cut 18 of these wedges. There's 18 uh, paduk wedges all cut. And again, I did move them off because they're bigger pieces, so after I got uh, piled up here a little bit, I did push them down. Uh, but the magnet's not in the way down here, so they push away much easier. So that worked out quite nicely. I did a video oh, several years ago on how to cut perfect wedges with the Accu wedge system. And I followed those pointers here and, and, and using this, always aligning my board at the center of my Accu stop, always clamping the board tight against the fence, and using the clamps to hold it in place. You cannot hold these boards, you know, yourself by just doing this because the board will move because of the grain of the wood. It causes the board to shift slightly as you're cutting. So I always uh, clamp my board in place. But for additional details, watch that video on how to cut perfect wedges with the AccuWedge system because uh, using this system, I get perfect wedges all the time. Let me clean these up and I'll, I'll show you the resulting uh, wedges. And here are the uh, resulting two segmented disc that I just finished cutting. Well this concludes this video on this new ramp for the AccuWedge system. This ramp does fit our standard AccuSlice system uh, index table and also the version with the mounting plates. So this is available on our website now or if you have a 3D printer in your shop uh, the drawing for this is available at no charge. So if you have any questions or comments, uh, you know, please give me a call or drop me an email. I'm always happy to hear from you. And thank you for watching this video.